Okay, this is Angles of a Rhombus, part one. Notice the way I drew this. This is the way a word drew it. Drew it like a diamond. <laughs> no, a diamond is a gemstone. It is not its shape. Anyways, all right, here we go. Angles of a rhombus. Uh, what I'm going to do is draw some X's in here. X are going to be equal to X's. Zeros are going to be equal to zeros. And we want to see which angles, which angles are congruent. These are congruent to each other. And these are congruent. So all four of those angles are congruent to each other. And O here and here. So those are congruent to each other. Now, just like in the angles of a rectangle, X's and O's add up to 90 degrees. So these two add up to 90, these two add up to 90, these two add up to 90, and those two add up to 90. Okay, that's the angles of a rectangle, <laughs> angles of a rhombus. Now, what are the angle measures in here? Remember that the angles of a rhombus, excuse me, the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. So each of these angles are 90. Okay. So like the last time, I'm going to number these angles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I guess we label these two, 9, 10, 11, 12. Assuming this is a rhombus, which angles are congruent? Which angles are complementary? Remember that means they add up to 90. And which angles are 90 degrees, period. Remember, complementary means two angles add up to 90. So question two and question three are different questions. Two, question two is asking for pairs of angles. Question three is asking for single angles. All right, so let's answer the question. Uh, there's going to be a lot of answers for two and num number two, so I'm only going to give sample answers. Number one. Which angles are congruent? Angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. And angle 2 is congruent to angle 5. And congruent to angle 6. Is that right? Yeah. 1, 2, 5, 6. Uh, another set, angle 3, is congruent to angle 4. And that's congruent to angle 7, and that's congruent to angle 8. I know this probably, this notation, the way I use the notation, probably offends some math teachers, maybe other mathematicians. You're right, I'm just being lazy. I should write these separately, but I'm not going to. All right, let's answer the second question. Which angles are complementary? Complementary, so... This is answering question two. Which angles are complementary? Angle two and angle three are complementary. Angle four and angle five are complementary. Angle six and angle seven. Angle eight and angle one. Now, before I said there's a lot of answers to this, and I'm only going to write sample answers, keep in mind there's several congruences. So beyond the ones that seem obvious, like angle four and angle six are complementary. Okay, so you can have, they don't have to be in the same triangle. We could hop back and forth among all these angles in here. All right, so that's question two. Let's answer question three. Question three. Let's see, which angles are 90? And there's only four of these. Angle nine, angle 10, angle 11, and angle 12. All the angles in the middle are 90 degrees. Well, that's angles of a rhombus, part one.